five super easy video transitions that you can try today for vlogging. If you're like me and you really don't like spending your entire day editing videos, then this could be for you. Let's start. All these transitions follow the same principle. Cover or move the camera in ways that lead into the next shot smoothly. These will usually only require crossfades or playing with the speed between each clip. Number one, cover the lens. Here I'm just using a towel because that's what I had in my hand. In the second half, you just start filming with something else covering the lens, like your hand. Okay, so it's 7 a.m. and uh, let's go out for a jog. If there's camera shake in your footage, use that as a way to cut into the next clip. For example, rushing the camera upwards, then continuing that motion when you start filming again. Using a medium. If you have a GoPro, take advantage of the weatherproof case. Smoke can fade into fog, or in this case, sink water becomes beach water. Okay, it's a really nice day out, so let's uh, head to the beach. Twirling the camera. If your camera is light enough, consider playing with this one. Here I just attach a strap to my Gorillapod and let it fall to the side in a half circle. Then in the next location, I finish rotating it right side up. Now, let's go visit some friends. Hi! Hi. <laughs> you guys are so cheesy. The Ho Slap Whip Pen. This one's fun. All you gotta do is pretend you're gonna slap your camera, then slow it down last second and push it into a half circle. In the second clip, you pull it right back around facing you, and then in post, besides crossfading the two clips together, you just speed up the slapping motion to make it seem faster. All right, now let's head back home. All right guys, hope you enjoyed that video. It was super fun to make, and if you look at my other projects, you might notice that I incorporate a lot of these types of transitions in those videos or just you know program something to film for me which is also really fun but yeah the whole point is in like vlogging or video or whatever it's always nice to have that extra bit of you know continuity between shots just so it's not so visually jarring to the person who's trying to follow along if that makes any sense at all work on english that's all i got for now so please share the video online if you did like it and leave a comment below i'll see you next time bye